as long as you have a Time Machine backup, you can restore an Apple Macintosh computer back to a previous state. Something that is very handy if your computer has become infected with malware or you experience a failed update or faulty driver. In order to restore macOS back to a previous state, we're going to need to use recovery mode. So first, we're going to power down our computer. Next, as our Time Machine backup is stored on an external hard drive, we need to plug the hard drive into one of the USB ports on our computer. We now need to place our computer into recovery mode. However, how you do this will depend on the type of Mac you are using. If you're using a Mac with Apple Silicon, in order to access recovery mode, with our computer powered down, we simply need to press and hold down the power button until we see a screen displaying our system volume and options button. If we highlight options, by clicking it with our mouse pointer, a continue button will appear. By clicking continue, we're taken into recovery mode. As you can see, we have a number of options. However, we're going to highlight restore from time machine and click on continue. We're now presented with a wizard that will help us to restore our computer from either a time machine backup or a local snapshot. Let's click continue. Our computer will now search for our backup. If your time machine backup is stored on a network server, you will need to choose other server. In this example, our computer can see the USB hard drive we connected to our computer and the local snapshot stored on our computer's hard drive. For this example, we're going to choose the time machine backup on our external USB hard drive. When we select continue, we're presented with a list of restore points. The number of restore points displayed on your screen will be dependent on the number of backups your instance of time machine has previously made. You will need to select a restore point from a period of time before you started to experience issues with your computer. After clicking continue, depending on how your computer has been configured, you may need to choose which drive to restore to. The default drive is usually the one called Macintosh HD. Depending on the recovery option you choose, you might be prompted to erase your hard drive. Recovery mode will now either reinstall a clean version of macOS or clean up the existing version of macOS installed on your computer. It will then restore your user accounts, settings, applications and files. After completing the restore process, your computer will automatically reboot and either log you into your user account or present you with the sign-in page.